From WPTA, your weather authority, this is ABC 21 News at Noon. Good afternoon. I'm Emily Dwyer. Thank you for being with us today. Here at ABC 21, we are your weather authority. So, of course, the weather is something we're going to be watching very closely for you, especially this week. Let's take a live look outside here at downtown Fort Wayne. Gray skies and damp conditions. That is the name of the game this week, that's for sure. Let's check in first with meteorologist Nick Maruziak. Because, Nick, we saw that rain earlier and much more to come. Yeah, the rain was accompanied by some thunder and at times it absolutely poured outside. Still ongoing heavy rain right now in Portland. All right, sounds good, Nick. Thank you. New this noon hour, officials with Lutheran Hospital have unveiled what the new downtown campus will look like, at least from the outside. Take a look at this rendering that was sent to ABC 21. The new hospital will include more windows to allow more natural light to come in. In the battle for the White House, former Vice President Joe Biden is keying in on the middle class and President Trump is taking notice, now scheduling a campaign rally of his own. ABC's Trevor Alt is in Washington with more. Joe Biden leaning into his old nickname, Middle Class Joe, as his campaign hits the ground running in Pennsylvania. From WPTA, your weather authority, this is ABC 21 News at Noon. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us today. I'm Emily Dwyer. A big story this week here in Indiana was an update in the Delphi double murder investigation. More audio and video was released from one of the victim's cell phones as well as this. It was a new sketch of a possible suspect in the 2017 killings. But we're learning today that the sketch of this much younger looking man was created only days after the girl's slayings. A state police sketch artist tells the Indianapolis Star that he drew it three days after the girl's bodies were found. Authorities aren't saying why they held on to it for more than two years, only that new information and intelligence leads police to believe that it does depict the killer. State police say the killer is likely still living in the Delphi area, and with this new information, they are hoping for more tips. Underway this afternoon in the state's capital, a bipartisan group of Indiana leaders honoring former U.S. Senator Birch Bayh. A public memorial service was set to get underway at the State House in Indianapolis at noon. Bayh died last month at the age of 91. The Democrat represented Indiana in the Senate for 18 years, up until 1981. Bayh's Senate career was highlighted by his sponsorship of the landmark federal Title IX law banning discrimination against women in college admissions and sports along with constitutional amendments, lowering the voting age to 18 and allowing the replacement of vice presidents. Evan By, the late senator's son, who served as Indiana governor and senator, will be a speaker this afternoon, along with current governor Eric Holcomb and former governor and now Purdue president Mitch Daniels. Welcome back. Time right now is 1213. It's Monday. That means it's time for Opportunity Knocks. And joining me today is Ivy Tech Community College Director of Career Development, Joe McMichael, thanks for being with us today. And you could say it wasn't a typical day at the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo, and this is why. A reticulated giraffe escaped its enclosure in the African Journey exhibit. Apparently strolled around a little bit here. Some good news, though, it did stay in an area not open to the public, and it thankfully never even left zoo grounds. That's thanks to a high fence along Well Street. The young giraffe was eventually captured and led back to its exhibit. Oh, it is tax day. <laughs> what a sad reminder there for us. Hope you didn't procrastinate and got them all done. We're gonna